Carmen Monero II. We begin this story at the end. Albert Monero, now a PhD in engineering. But wait a second, stop. See that kid at his side? The journey to this graduation stage actually begins two and a half years ago with young Alex Pring. When I get to it, I'll show you. Born without an arm, Alex's desperate mother wrote an open letter to the University of Central Florida. Could someone please make a prosthetic arm for my son? Hang on, one more. Albert, the student, wondered, could he take classroom theories and actually put them into action? Okay. With help from his How classmates, kind of he drew up space. plans, used a 3D printer, something no one had ever tried like this before, inserted off-the-shelf components, and made an arm. And yes, it worked. What began with one arm for one child became another for another kid, then another, then another. In all, 20 arms, 20 lives changed. We were very clear from the beginning, our intent is that families shouldn't have to pay for their child who is born without an arm there you go. to get something. Um, and our goal is to see how long we can do that for. How do you feel in your heart? Uh, very warm. Uh, in engineering, we don't normally get the experience of working with a family who's happy at the end. We work with machines and it's cold and it's uh, rigorous. Um, and this kind of blends both of those aspects together and I'm very, very thankful for that. To date, the nonprofit Limitless has sent the ever improving blueprints for arms to families and student engineers in 176 different countries. I have watched a kind of nervous six year old grow into a very, very confident nine year old. Which brings us back to where we started this story a graduation where the boy who once had no arm now lends a hand to a newly minted PhD who discovered his mission after reading a mother's hopeful letter. I think right now I found a passion and I found an opportunity to where we can rally people to really impact their community and I wouldn't trade that for the world. Lives changed by UCF's newest PhD in engineering who did what engineers do, solve problems. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Orlando. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.